As some spots continue to thaw out, the east side of the metro area still has plenty of ice that's causing a lot of problems. Many of the walkways and roadways there have frozen over, making for potentially dangerous situations. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom is live in Gresham tonight with a closer look at the conditions out there. Jeffrey. Anna, Pete, we're in Gresham where a short while ago it just started raining once again and much of this area continues to be frozen over whether it is uh, walkways or if it's uh, roadways or parking lots and I wasn't particularly choosy about one. Uh, most of them look something like this. Uh, in any case, uh, we spoke with a man earlier today who said he came in from Sandy and says he's been out of power since Saturday. It's been like camping for five days. We came in to get something hot to eat. <laughs> On the hunt for hot food and grabbing some gas in Gresham, Rana instead found much of the city frozen solid. Once we got into Gresham here, the road started getting progressively worse. With slush and ice on the roads leading to some highway closures, Ott describes this weather event as a trifecta. To have a like a triple whammy, the wind was really terrible, and then the freezing cold temperature along with the precipitation, it was just a triple threat. We've never seen like what we've had this last week, I should say last three days. It's just a mess. Peyton Andrews says he's seeing a lot of cars out on the ice-covered roadways like this one with rear-wheel drive stuck and with nowhere to go in conditions that are easily summed up as slick, icy. Where people like Tyson Cummins in his truck with his brand new studded tires have been a saving grace. Picking up people at the airport and rescued a friend up in the West Hills last night that was stranded. With roads slippery and covered with ice, drivers are saying it's best to just steer clear. If you don't have to drive, definitely don't drive right now. Stay off the roads. From slippery tires to slippery feet, as downtown Gresham is mostly a ghost town, except for those who are willing to brave the conditions. Nikes are definitely not the move out here. I almost fell on my butt with my Uggs. Liana Deloff is carefully navigating what has become the downtown Gresham ice rink, alongside her friends. <laughs> Very <laughs> slow. She says the walkways are slick, which is true for both adults and kids. Watch as this child forgets trying altogether and clings to a couple of helping hands to make their way safely across town figuring out how to get from A to B all in one piece. Just dealing with Mother Nature best we can. I hope it goes away soon. <laughs> it is slick out here. You can play ice hockey in a lot of these areas. Multnomah County says that they've closed 17 county roads throughout the weather event, and five of them have since been reopened. Reporting live from Gresham, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 